Welcome back, Nerd Squad. Our good friends at King Kong on Broadway have tickets going on sale today. So to celebrate, we're counting down the top 10 alternate versions of King Kong. The immensely talented people behind King Kong on Broadway are the same awesome people who helped create Broadway hits Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, so get hyped! The show originally premiered in Melbourne, Australia, and was critically acclaimed, and even called the first of its kind in the world. Oh, and they also have a giant ape, so that's pretty rad. We're big fans of theirs on Top 10 Nerd, and they've given us a little preview of what to expect. Check it out. So the link to the musical's website is in the description below, so check them out after the video on there and make sure you check out their social media, which is at King Kong B-Way on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. That being said, I think it's time to get bananas with our top 10 alternate version of King Kong. Let's jump in. In at number 10 is the RKO comic strips. If RKO sounds like a familiar name to you, that's because they were monumental in American film history. RKO Pictures was one of the big five studios of Hollywood's golden age, and responsible for the 1933 King Kong film, along with the Son of Kong follow up. They created comic strips in their press books, published by newspapers across the country as promotional material for both films, and were illustrated by Glenn Carvath, and also published in Spain to boot. Up next, number 9 is King Kong the Robot. From 1964, a British comic company called IPC Media created a character called MyTech the Mighty, who was essentially a giant robot ape, built by Professor Boyce. The comic was quite successful, continuing to be published throughout the 1970s, and eventually had its name changed to King Kong the Robot when it was published in comic strips in France. Eventually, the 32 issues it had under its belt were collected, and then published all together as Super King Kong. Getting a little cinematic at our number 8 spot with Peter Jackson's King Kong. While we're all familiar with the original King Kong that appeared in the 1933 film, regardless of whether or not you've seen it in its entirety, it's iconic. Well, Peter Jackson also brought King Kong to life, and a retelling of the story, which was the director's first major blockbuster after the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The 2005 film starred Naomi Watts, Jack Black, and Adrian Brody, and Andy Serkis using motion capture to play Kong. Costing a then record breaking $207 million to make, it went on to win three Academy Awards in sound editing, mixing, and visual effects, and was chock full of references to the original 1933 film. In our number 7 spot is The Gorilla. Also known as the 1960s 1970s Mexican King Kong comics, this series was published by Editorial Orizaba. That featured full color covers, but sepia and white panels for the actual comics inside. It ran for an impressive 185 issues. This would go on to inspire other King Kong comics from Latin America, called King Kong in the Microcosmos, released by Editorial America and published in 1979, and was all about aliens who recruit Kong to be their warrior and help them win the war waging on their home planet. Up next number 6 is Gold Key Comics King Kong. From 1968, this oversized comic was commissioned by Marion C. Cooper, the director of the 1933 King Kong, and was based on the novel of the film rather than the movie itself, with a cover painted by George Wilson and comic drawn by Alberto Giolitti of Star Trek comic fame. Despite not being a promotional tool for the film, considering when it was published, it would then be reprinted for the 1976 remake film, and translated into Dutch, Swedish, German, and Norwegian. Up next in the number 5 spot is The King Kong Show. An animated American Japanese anime series, The King Kong Show ran on ABC in the US between September 1966 and August 1969. An animated adaptation of the original King Kong story, Kong befriends a family. The Bonds, who he goes on adventures with, saving the world from aliens, mad scientists, robots, and other monsters. The show ran for three seasons, with 25 episodes, and featured a Kong with a tiny head and a massive torso. Up next, number four is Marvel's King Kong. Published in a one shot by Marvel Comics in 1967, called America's Best TV Comics, this one was based off of our previous number, The King Kong Show. Kong appeared in a mini story called Kong Joins the Circus, alongside other stories in the one shot, which also featured Casper the Ghost, Spider Man, the Fantastic Four, and other pop culture phenomenons that Marvel had the rights to. The King Kong Show also had another comic adaptation, in the Japanese Shonen magazine, where Kong fights a living version of the Statue of Liberty, summoned by Doctor Who. Up next, number 3 is King Kong on Broadway. We had to include King Kong on Broadway here on our list, which is the latest adaptation of The Big Gorilla Beast, based on the novel of the original 1933 screenplay. It's a contemporary take on the classic tale of Beauty and the Beast, featuring a Kong that's a massive, technologically enhanced puppet, designed by Sonny Tilders, and from the looks of it, will give the audience one unforgettable experience experience next autumn. It's also worth noting, other impressive additions to their creative team include Jack Thorne, of recent Cursed Child fame among many other feats, director choreographer Drew Magoni, and songwriter Eddie Perfect. Up next, number 2 is Monster Comics. Monster Comics were an imprint of Fantagraphics Books, which released a 6 issue black and white Kong series in 1991. This version wasn't based on the 1933 film at all though, but rather the 1932 novelization, and features many scenes the film doesn't, including moments in a spider pit and more encounters with dinosaurs. This Kong is actually accompanied by dinosaurs 
dinosaurs when attacking the native village, and goes on to get pretty handsy with Andero, with her really not feeling Kong's advances. I mean, Fair enough. And finally, in our number one spot are the Dark Horse comics. In the 1990s, Dark Horse had a habit of publishing comics based on popular cinematic monsters and creatures. This includes Predator, Alien, Godzilla, and of course, they wanted to include our good friend Kong to that mix. But due to copyright issues, Dark Horse struggled for years to bring Kong to their panels, with their only success being a one page segment in the 1993 one shot Urban Legends concerning a myth about the King Kong vs. Godzilla film. But in 2005, the publisher managed to strike a deal with Universal, licensing tie ins to Peter Jackson. Jackson's film, with direct adaptations. This eventually evolved into an authorized sequel of the 1933 film, called Kong, King of Skull Island, which actually became a prequel, revealing Kong's early history, and how he was crowned king, ultimately explaining why the human sacrifices he was famously offered occurred in the first place. There we have it friends, which is your favourite alternate version of King Kong? Let us know in those comments below. And don't forget to check out all of King Kong on Broadway's social media links while you're at it. We're super excited for the show and we'd love to see you guys in the audience, so make sure you grab your tickets before they're all sold out. The link is in the description below. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and major thanks to the team at King Kong on Broadway for sponsoring this video. If you guys dug this video, show us some love too and hit those like and subscribe buttons. I've been Kelly Pally, and this has been Top 10 Nerd. I'll catch you guys in the next one.